Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is me, Lisa B. This is it. I, I hope it's it. It better be it. <laughs> I don't have anything outstanding. Um, so yeah. I was tempted, but I didn't buy anything. So, we're going to start. If you're new here, welcome. Please join me. Subscribe if you'd like. Hit the notification bell. I'm a fun time, as Danny Button says. <laughs> I just got this book uh, not too long ago. Um, it came with these pencils. And it's a pixel book. And it's a one-sided book, so I can use my alcohol markers if I want to. Yay! And um, here's some pictures, what it looks like. This is by PIL Publications or Pill International. So I got that one. Next one I have to show you is this is the Harmony of Nature. I've been wanting a Kanoku, Kanoko Aguza book for a long time. I can't afford her. She's pricey. I found this one. I, li I like it very much. The first part of the book is they have some, you know, coloring what it should look like. And, yeah, yeah. And then it, introduction, and then this is what the book looks like. It is double-sided, unfortunately. But the animals are cute and reminds me of the Kinoko, Kinoka, Kinoko, Aguza style, so yeah. And in the back of this one, she has, you can cut them out, there's some postcards, here's a, I guess you can use that as a picture frame, but yeah, it's a gorgeous book, pretty, 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 very beautiful. I finally got this book, um, I'm having issues, let me go like this, mm. sorry, I am so sorry, wait, you know what, I'm going to pause you, hold on. Okay, so we're back. I don't know if it's any better, but here we go. This is Happy Campers. Like I said, I live in an RV. This is the... The Naya McGurl. She has her how to do stuff pictures that she did. And then we get into the book. And I haven't done anything yet. I just got it. It's not just campers. Here's other cute pictures, but I, I love the, you know, I'm an RVer, so I like the camper pictures. There's one of those caravans. Adorable. Super glad I got it. I showed it to my husband. He's like, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I got this one. It's called Tango Bay. Um really really nice book she is in from England everything is I was worried it'd be really zen doodly but it's not it's a lot of ocean type things in here whimsical a mermaid you know I love that page obviously but it's it's uh double-sided so yeah that's what the whale swallowed yeah but it's a gorgeous book i haven't done anything yet and then i just got this one bigger it's a big book. Um, it's color by number masterpieces. It's single sided, so you can use your um, alcohol markers, which I have. This is obviously Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> and I'm still working on it, but yeah. But the spaces are quite large in here, and some of them are just abstract. 
it's not like a super detailed book but I'll show you what it looks like in the back it tells you the um, name of the artist the name of the painting so you can look online and look it up and one thing I really like about this book is all the landscapes are in the back and all the portraits are in the front. And I bought it used so that one uh, flower, sunflower thing is not me. I'm sorry. I did not do that. But I will show you ones that I did. This is my shine color book. I can't remember if I showed it to you. I'm pretty sure I did, but what the heck. I'll, I'll quick flip it again. It's a Christian book. It's very inexpensive on um, Amazon. I'm almost 99% sure I flipped this already. But. but yeah, that's what it looks like. It has verses and then a wallpaper page. And then some verses or a saying and then some wallpaper. But I like it because I like the sea and I like it with devotions in the this one I should have put in with my uh, Creative Haven books and I was like oops but it is a Creative Haven it's from their Dover line to paint and color uh, you know I love my fairies so there's a picture of what it should look like very gray but pretty pretty wide spaces yeah I will love doing this book it was 2008 so yeah. isn't she gorgeous I mean really the next one I got is this is my only hello angel I bought winter wonderland um, she's really zen doodly but I like Christmas so I was willing to put up with it So these are what the pictures in the front looks like and then you get into the pictures and they're single-sided and some of them she puts the color palette on the bottom and some of them she doesn't so it's a rabbit with a henna <laughs> that's that I also have this book um, I bought it uh, used obviously I paid like four bucks for it um it came some of the pictures came colored I had seen a flip on it so I knew what I was getting into I'm gonna color some of these pictures but the rest of them I'm gonna I'm gonna rip up and use in my um, bullet journal because it's got a lot of wallpaper stuff in it I think this is the only one, the art of coloring books that I'm going to buy because I'm not really impressed. Even though I love Disney, I'm not impressed with that line of books. I have Day of the Dead. I also have the Creative Haven Day of the Dead. This is Sarah Walsh. Um, just to add color, I live in South Texas. Dio de los Muertos is very popular here. Um, it's not scary at all. It's a way to honor your relatives that have passed away. Very interesting. The paper is really, really nice. But yeah, if you're familiar with that, it's not scary at all to me. I had I bought this one and I was expecting to get the small one. And I was like, oh wow, it's the big one. It's Pusheen. Pusheen, and he's double-sided, which is a bummer because I really would like to use alcohol markers in here, but it, yeah, that's not going to happen. But yeah, it's the same Pusheen book from the little one, only it's a great big huge one. And now that I have it, I don't think I really want the little one because I like this one a lot. And I love Pusheen. He's hilarious. He eats pizza. His guide to being fancy which makes me laugh. Riding a unicorn. I love it. Anyway, 
Y'all have seen this a hundred times. It's It makes me laugh. I love it. I'm glad it's big. The next one I'm going to show you, I got two at the Dollar Tree. I went to the Dollar Tree because uh, I can't remember her name, but I will link her down below and also um, gosh, I'm, I'm having a tongue-tied moment. Um, Misty has this book, but the girl that I saw on first that I went and got it. I'll link her down below. I can't think of her name right this second. Is it Ren? Maybe it's Ren Kelly, but I will link her. I will look link her down below. This is one-sided. Just some fun stock images of, you know, stuff. Here's some fruit that I did. And, um, pretty good paper. And then the other one that I found that I don't think anybody's flipped is um, etchings. And there's not very many pages in here, but for a dollar, it's not bad. It's a grayscale book, so I did the fox. And then there's just, there's random pictures in here. Not really a theme. Oh, a monkey. But yeah. There's lots of different. So I'll do a flip for you real quick that nobody showed it. It's a, uh, yeah, random. An animal and then pizza and then a car. But that's it. And it was a dollar. And I got it at the Dollar Tree. So, very cute. Keep your eyes out for that one. This one, I've ha I bought and I, I don't know if I talked about this book yet or not. <clears throat> I got a really good deal on it. I think it was this was four dollars and ten cents and I had been looking at these individual books and so there's a conglomeration there's this one and then there's one that's like a pinky peach color that's three in one this is the first three in one is the blue one and then the second <coughs> so I kind of knew I was getting into the only problem with this is it's three different artists it's not the same artist so like this one, this is Marie Michaels, and I got a whip going on in here. I want to do it all in black. So, I like I like Marie's artwork. So here's Marie's artwork. I like it. The next guy is. Let me see. I'm sorry. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Next guy is Michael, or Michaela. It looks like Michael without any E. Sparks. So this one is okay. I like it less than the first part. <clears throat> it's basically what it is. Okay. So then the last person in here is... Denise Urban. These I, I like the least of all. But I would like you to see what is in here so you know what you're getting at. So it's not all the same artist as what I want to get to. So if you want to buy this book, it's not expensive on eBay. I don't know how much it is on Amazon, but I'm an eBay shopper, so. But yeah, so I really like artist number one. Artist number two is so-so, and the last lady, not so much. So, you know, just buy it at your own discretion. And just know that that's what you're getting into. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to show you is, these are my um, kid books from the Dollar Tree. So, um, I really wanted some Disney books, and I bought this at Dollar Tree or Walmart. I, it wasn't very much, it was like a dollar. So, I... You know, I colored pictures, and then when I colored the color book, I put it in here. So I went through and I ripped out, here's Pocahontas, here's Belle, here's Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, Jasmine, Snow White. So when I feel like coloring one of those, I rip them out, or I pull it out, and then I put it in here. Because a lot of these have like kid activities or princesses, like there's a 
Well, I don't care. I don't care about that or the puzzle. I just want to color the, the picture. And it It's fun. I like it. I don't do it all the time, but, you know, just every once in a while I get it again to do that. This is my big book of stuff I ripped up and or, um, yeah, it's got Hello Kitty, and or um, some of the things I printed out. So, these... This right here is a Dollar Tree book that um, Missy has shown on her channel. And I've done some of these a long time ago. Not really going to linger on these. Whoops. This is that fairy book that I they came colored, so I ripped it up and I used these pages to... Um, put into my, my uh, bullet journal. So yeah, that's the extra pages of that. I love Hello Kitty, so I bought two Hello Kitty books at the Dollar Tree, and I, um, I did that one. Um, and then I ripped them up, and I kept all the ones that were not activity, and I kind of put them into different categories. So that when I have the need to color a Hello Kitty for any reason, ah, she is in here. Yeah. And here's the, some of the books came with extras, so there's that. And here is a couple Dollar Tree books I bought a couple years ago. I don't think I've, have I done anything in here? I started on that one. Not really, but yeah. See, I think yeah. See, that's water-based markers, so that goes through it. So, is this Kappa? Yeah, Kappa. And then I have this one, Home Sweet Home. Yeah. Spooning around with that. That's what it looks like. But yeah, it's normal like color book pages, but geared for adults. And it's okay. It's not bad, but I, you know, it was a dollar. It was fun. Put that back in here. So then, I also, I have my PDFs in here. And I downloaded the Jade Summer, um, her, the, the favorites one, and I printed out the ones that I like. We don't have to go through all of these. It's the the one you get free when you sign up for their email. So I just printed out, mainly I printed out the chibis and some of the other ones that I thought were cool. Like the printer, like, skipped there. But this is my good paper. I bought this at, um, in fact, I saw it the other day at the grocery store. It's that, uh, it's cardstock, but it's not like a heavy, heavy card stock. So I printed it out on my father-in-law's printer. Oops. And I just, I know, I, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I just printed out the ones I thought I might do. I didn't want to like deplete his entire um, <laughs> ink supply is what I was gonna say. And then when I was a little girl, in the 70s, Holly Hobby was very popular. And so I rebought my childhood coloring book off of eBay. Yes, you can do that. And I printed out some Holly Hobby. This is exactly the same book. They were very cheap. It was like $3 for four Holly, Holly books from the 70s. And so yeah, I printed out those. And then Danny Buttons was showing that her, her friend from Is it Danny Banani and, and, and the usual, same usual suspects? Anyway, she had some freebies, so I printed out Marion Bright. And I printed out the Brew Crew. And these are freebies, it's very easy. You just go on there, put in your email address. And she had a couple other ones, but I just printed out the two that I, I like the best. So hold on just one second pause you. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, 
so this last, I know, how sad. But yeah. <laughs> to my husband's delight, I stopped by. If you live in the United States and you go to the checkout counter, um, these are located with the magazines. Um, I did not buy these individually. I bought one of them. And I will link the video that I did down below. Last year, Penny Press, or uh, I think it's Dell, Dell Publications. They do all, yeah, Penny Dell Press Puzzles. PennyDellPuzzles.com. Last year, they had a thing where I think it was $30 and free shipping, and they sent you a selection of books. And I figured it out. I think it was $3 a book. Um, was it worth it? I, I don't know. Um, it depends on what you think. I'm, I'm glad I have them. I, um, I don't think I need to buy any more. <laughs> Put it that way. But they come in the travel sizes and then they come in the normal size and we'll go through them real quick so this is uh this is basically what they look like they're one-sided this one's a pattern book they're very undoodly they're mostly stock images um they're really good these ones especially are really good to throw in your purse i've done a few out of here That one was just a uh, Paul marker and a gel pen. I did the fairy. Well, duh, of course I did. But yeah, that's what that looks like. And there's this one. Same sort of thing. I think there, I, yeah, there's a couple of, I saw a dolphin and then fish. And maybe this came out in the summer. Oh, there's my manatee. I think this one is a summer one it doesn't really say but yeah so then in the box of the books that I got they sent me four of these and I'm they're basically the same thing so I won't go through them all but I, I'll give you a, this is the one that I have worked in and basically you times this times four just in a different way um, they're one-sided one I did in gel pen and that's what that's what I've done in there but basically that's what all of them kind of look like just pattern it's just I have two three four and five so it's basically the same kind of deal this is four And this is five. So basically that's what that looks like. And the next set of books they sent me, I'm try I tried to get them by title, so. Uh, 13, 11. It's just random, they sent me whatever. This is uh, Living Colors. I think this is the one with animals in it, yeah. See, they're real super zen doodly. This one is, I believe it's a, like a summer edition, maybe. Maybe not, maybe it's just better. This one I colored in, this is uh, one with like winter pictures in it. Oh yeah, did that one, and that one. And that one, <laughs> and that one. And that one, and that's that. 
And then I think these are all cats. And doodly cats. And doodly loodly. Anything weird about this? There's one in here that looks so much like they ripped it off from Marjorie Shana. Yeah, this one. Am I am I wrong or doesn't that look like a knockoff of Marjorie Shana? Don't know. Could be. There you go. The next one, this one I was really pleased to have. This is The Joy of Coloring. I think I did a flip on this book exclusively, so I will link that video down below if you're interested. <clears throat> I think I've done one in here. It's all pretty ladies from around the world. I did this lady, alcohol markers, and I did a little blush on her face, I think, but yeah. I did some pencil work on there and oh gel pen on here. Make it glitter. It's a wonderful book. All different ladies. Then the one book that I actually bought <laughs> was just a single issue of it was this one. And I fooled around with this one for quite a while before I actually decided to do what I wanted to do, but yeah. This one, uh, this one was pencil and marker, I do believe. Probably Crayola. This one is uh, I'll, this is I did start in the Nikki and Niagara Fire and Ice Challenge. Yeah, I got fire done. <laughs> but yeah, this is flying colors and imagination takes flight, so it's all like air balloons and planes. This one I've used a lot. This one is I've shown this before. This is the um, show your independence with color, so it's all American images. American. There's my gold star widow one. Fourth of July. I thought there was another one in here. But... Oh, guess not. There's ones I want to do for Fourth of July, but there's that. This one is just let your imagination take flight. I can't remember. Yeah, this is just a doodly mandala patternish stuff. I don't even know what you want to call it. And I think this one's the same. And the only thing different about this one is volume 9. So it used to be a bigger book, see? I shrunk as time went by. But yeah, every time you walk into a Family Dollar, um, Walgreens, Walmart, um, they have these at the checkout, usually, or by their magazine section. I think you could, can subscribe if you like them, but I think I have enough. Because I do like this part that they do this. So you can look at that. But. The next couple ones are designing colors. Different names, same thing. I think they have a couple different house names for their books, so yeah. to say. <laughs> They're mainly patterns, but yeah. I have them. And if I took them to work or vacation with me and I lost one, it would not be a big heartbreak, so it's nice to have them. This one I have splash of color. This is, I believe, all dogs. Zen doodly dogs. Zen doodly doodly. Lots of doggies. Doggy, 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 doggy. 
And I think this is just a menagerie of animals to color, so different animals. Ooh, you know, big ears. Yeah, it looks to me like an animal and then a pattern, and then an animal and then a pattern. So if you bought these at the checkout, they cost you about $7 or $6.99. So to get a whole box of them, it's just really, you know, for that price for four bucks, you know, it's not a bad deal. And I have them, so I have them. This one is kind of a weirdo one. It's got the real geometric look to it. Reminds me of John Wick in a way with math. Like this one, I, I don't even have a clue on how you color that one. But yeah. There's like a horse. I think that's the only one. Oh, there's a bull. Anyway, or spiral graphs, whatever you want to say. Then, I don't know if they make these anymore, but this is uh, Crafty Colors. I haven't seen this in the store, and then when I got these a year ago, I haven't seen them since. So, what it is, is they want you to, like, here's the coloring page, and here's the activity. So, you make coasters, and here's how to make a necklace. Here's a light switch plate. I mean, some of it's interesting, but I really don't think I really want to do crafts with them. I really, it's not my thing, so. I think I'll just color the pictures. <laughs> Quite frankly. And then I have one more. And it's the same gig, you know. Triangle collage, notebook, birthday card candle card, paperweight rock, mixed media collage, artichoke light, envelope liner. So yeah, you can, you get the idea. There's a craft if you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, then just color the picture, which is what I plan to do. So yes, there is that. So, wow. We are about as done as I can be, I think. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. But yes, that's my, as, about as good as I can get <laughs> my entire collection. Of which my husband said, all right, stop, stop, stop. But yeah, I just keep buying and stashing. But I don't have anything outstanding. I've been a very good girl this month. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't for forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed lately. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day. See you later.